Hi there, this is Penelope. This is FS3128, Topic 3, oops, that should say Topic 3, Class 5. And we're looking at fractions, because sometimes with fractions with algebra in them, letters and things, we can make them simpler by factorising those, just as we've been factorising expressions in the last two videos. Okay, here's the deal. If you can't cancel legally, then you can't simplify. Some students, and don't copy this down first, some students would say, hey, there's a 5 that's common, I can cancel, cancel, and I'm left with 1 over 3. Wrong! No, please don't. So let's cancel legally, and let's go from there. Okay, we've got 15 over 35. Now we can rewrite that as 5 times 3 over 5 times 7. Now we can see that we've got a common factor of 5 and we're left with the answer of 3 over 7. So what we did was we looked for the highest common factor found that it was 7 and went from there. So we divided, oops, it was 5 it was 5, and divided top and bottom by 5, and went from there. Now, we can do the same for algebra. We find the highest common factor, and then we cancel them out. Remember, if you can't cancel legally, you can't simplify. Right, on the top line, what's the highest common factor between 25 and 15? Must be 5. In the A term, there's A, and in the Bs, it's B. So what have we got left? 5 times 5, we've got A times B, minus 5 times 3, A. And on the bottom line, the biggest number common factor is 8. The biggest number of A's is A. The biggest number of B's is B. Then we've got 8 times 5b and then 8 times 3 gives us 24 and we need another a so now because this is multiplication because it's multiplication then we can cancel so this is times 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 so we can cancel the common factors and now that nasty thing is equal to 5 over 8 the next one let's factorize it first it would be 6 times 3 times x times x over 6 times x we can cancel the 6 with the 6 and left with 1. We can cancel the x with the x and we're left with 1. So on the top line, we've got 3x. And on the bottom line, we've got 1, which we don't need. For the next example, the third example, it's 5 times 1 on the top line. And then 5 times, 5 times what is 25? That's 5 times 5 plus 5 times 3 x. Now there's a times in there even though we can't see it so we can cancel that and we're left with 1 over 5 plus 3x. The last example there, factorize the top lines 5 times x, take out a common factor of 5, so 5x plus 2y. The only thing then common is the 5s, so we've got x over 5x plus 2y. Some more examples here. Look for the common factors, factorize the top, factorize the bottom. So it would be 4 times x over, hmm, x must be the common factor there, 3x plus 1, and it's time so we can cancel the x's and we're left with 4 over 3x plus 1 x times 1 on the top line, x times x plus 2 on the bottom line, cancel the x's, 
1 over x plus 2. Now the next one we don't even probably need to write out. We can see that there's a common factor of x minus 1 and we're left with 2 over x plus 3. We know already how to add and subtract or multiply and divide fractions. We already know how to do that. But let's have a look here at multiplying and dividing first up. So for the first example, we know the rule. Because it's the same rule as for arithmetic. So we multiply top times top, which is x over 3y and there's nothing we can do here 5 times the top over 1 times the bottom right we could rewrite the bottom as I don't need that one 5 times 5 cancel cancel and I'm left with x minus 3 over 5 now division we know the rule that we're going to flip and multiply. So that's going to become 3 over x times 3 over 1. Now we can just multiply. Top times top is 9. Bottom times bottom is x. This one again we're going to flip and multiply. So we'll flip and multiply. And then we've got a common factor top and bottom, and our final answer is 2 plus x over y. So multiplying and dividing, same rules as before. Same for adding. If we're going to add a over b plus c over d, then the answer would be ad plus bc over bd. Let's go. So the first one would be 3 times x plus 1 times 4 over 4x. And there's nothing there, there's no common factors, so we can't go any further. This one, bd is x cubed, so we've got 3x squared plus 4x. Now this time we do have a common factor. that we can cancel out. We can cancel out the x's and we're left with 3x plus 4 over x squared. The last example would be 5b minus 4a over ab. No common factors there, so we can't cancel anything out. The final answer just has to be 5b minus 4a.